This is the USSR, a country where a part of it is in East Asia and the other part is in Europe. The Communist Party had the power for 70 years in this country and they thought they were a superpower that will never be defeated. He is Mikhail Gorbachev, the last leader of the USSR. On December 25, 1991, on Christmas Day, Mikhail Gorbachev said, we're living in a new world. He said those words and went out and resigned. After 40 years of Cold War with the United States and creating the biggest army, the USSR collapsed and it turned into 15 different countries. After this, the US turned into the only superpower in the world. The USSR had 5 million soldiers around the world, but without shooting one bullet, this country collapsed. Why did this superpower collapse? How did it fall apart? In the 1980s, the Soviets were very proud and they thought nothing will ever defeat them because they just went to Afghanistan and they had soldiers everywhere. And their economy was rising and that's why they thought nothing is gonna stand in front of them. At that time, what you see of the USSR it looked like the time Stalin was in power. But the skin was very thin, and if you just scratched the surface, you would see a country that's about to fall apart. Gorbachev became the USSR leader in the year 1985, and he knew he had to make changes to the country. His goal was to make it like today's China and turn the country into a communist slash capitalist country. He went ahead and introduced Glasnost. Glasnost is a Russian term that Mikhail Gorbachev came up with. This word basically means transparency in English and Gorbachev set that in stone in the USSR. But something like this wasn't good for a communist country. The people were like a ball you overinflate and they want to explode. Glasnost caused that ball to explode and the people came out into the streets. A lot of people came out in the streets and protested anti-communism things. Something you'd never see in the USSR. Anybody said something against the party, they would be in a graveyard. Or if they're very unlucky, they would work in a concentration camp in Siberia. Until the 1960s, the USSR was extremely communist and you could call it the most strict country on the planet. But after the 60s, it started to lay low a little bit. And the people started to notice that the higher ups had whatever they wanted, but they had nothing. And since they were a communist country, they had a set salary and a normal job. And even if they were very talented, they weren't awarded like anything else. And that is why you see anti-communism after the 60s. The US came up with a plan and started to expand the Cold War. Day by day, they would create new weapons and they would basically tell the USSR to spend your money and keep up with us. And that is why the people got poorer and poorer. As you know, a communist economy cannot rise as fast as a capitalist economy because they don't make the same amount of money. In the 80s, the USSR people had no money and that means they couldn't even buy proper clothes. When we get to 1989, Poland and Czechoslovakia reported their independence and they said they're not a part of the USSR anymore. 
these 15 countries that were around Russia started to hate the Communist Party. And that's when we get to December 25th, 1991. Christmas Day, and that's the same day Gorbachev announced that we're living in a new world. So basically, the USSR economy got to a point that it could not even stand. When Gorbachev said we're living in a new world, a lot of people didn't understand what he meant. But day by day after this speech, they noticed what is going on. Karma got to the USSR. Most of the countries that you see around Russia were forcefully added to the party. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Tajikistan. These were forcefully added and they were set behind the Iron Curtain. The borders around the Soviet Union was known as the Iron Curtain, especially the Berlin Wall. One of the starting points of the collapse of the USSR was the Berlin Wall. As you know, after World War II, Berlin was separated into two different pieces. East was in the Soviet's hands, and the West was in the American hands. But the worse the Cold War got, the East Germans would jump to the Western side. That is why the USSR put a fence up. But the fence didn't stop the people, so they had to put up a wall. They made this wall in the year 1961, and for more than 30 years, this city was split into two. A lot of families and friends were separated because of a wall. Half were there, half were here. It was up for more than 30 years. And that's until November 9th, 1989, some workers in East Berlin decided to take a piece of the wall off. And they said, let this be open if anybody wants to pass by. But after this, the people got anxious. From both sides, the Germans hit the wall with whatever they could find. Whatever they had at home, like an ax, pickaxe, hammers, they brought it to the wall to demolish it. Collapsing this wall was another thing that hurt the USSR. After this wall, whatever borders the USSR had up was no more. And just like that, the Soviet Union collapsed. When you put up an iron curtain around your country and claim to be a superpower, this is the end result.